Welcome to the legacy of Indonesia's long history in the grip of corruption. Trisakti University, Jakarta. Security personnel opened fire on demonstrators, killing four and sparking the death throes of Suharto's new order regime. Looting and rioting may have failed to budge Suharto. But the student occupation of the parliament finally brought down Asia's most established and most corrupt dictator. Saya memutuskan untuk menyatakan berhenti. Since the symbolic victory of the students, the spirit of the reformasi movement has largely petered out. But now is the time to face reality. Every kind of obstacle to economic development and quality democratization is directly or indirectly caused by corruption. Corruption in the parliaments, judicial system, police and bureaucracy is keeping over half the population in poverty. Over 110 million people live on less than $2 a day in a land rich in natural and human resources. The return of macroeconomic stability has brought some improvement and the Indonesian people do the best they can as global forces shape the evolution of our human society. The impact of the Cold War and internal pressures brought down Indonesia's founding president Sukarno in 1966. I hate imperialism. I detest colonialism. And I fear the consequences of... The economically independent nation Sukarno envisaged was still born. The commander of the armed forces of the Republic of Indonesia appoint Major General Suharto and General Suharto moved to establish himself as the father of development, or Bapa Pembangunan. to one million Sukarno loyalists and members of the Indonesian Communist Party were killed as Suharto rose in what is now recognized as one of the most brutal mass slaughters of the 20th century. But stability under Suharto, we now know, came at a heavy price. For those bringing investment, aid or loans into Indonesia under Suharto's new order regime, corruption was seen as a necessary evil. But times have changed, and attitudes have changed towards corruption. Comprehensive reform is now seen as essential, and this entails confronting the grand corruption of newspaper headlines, as well as the hidden costs. However, corruption is now more pervasive and entrenched interests and new networks are tightening their grip. Transparency International Indonesia founder and lawyer Todung Mulia Lubis is more familiar than most with the insidious nature of corruption in Indonesia. Corruption is public enemy number one. Corruption is a systemic, widespread, and rampant yeah, throughout the country. Transparency International has issued Corruption Perception Index 
every year. And almost every year, Indonesia is one among the worst corrupt countries in the world. Mohamed Yamin knows that the AGO is the toughest nut to crack in reforming the justice system. As head of the AGO Education and Training Centre, he's concerned with breaking the cycle that sustains corruption at the AGO. And itu tidak bisa kita sangkali karena memang terjadi di semua sektor, apakah itu di kejaksaan, di pengadilan, kepolisian, dan bahkan pengacara juga ikut terbawa seperti itu. Entrenched corruption within the police force is exploitative and it threatens more than the fight against terrorism. Berapa sebenarnya anggaran yang uang yang dihabiskan untuk menangani peristiwa bom Bali atau bom Merit itu mungkin sampai ratusan miliar dari mana polisi membiayai kalau memang uangnya kurang berdasarkan temuan kami di lapangan kekurangan dana yang dibutuhkan ini ditutupi dengan apa yang dikenal di lingkungan polri sendiri sebagai partisipasi eh, masyarakat These society participation funds are no more than monies extorted from persons with or without a vested interest in official police activities. Contributions from concerned parties, usually pervade in envelopes, compromise the integrity of the media. As journalist and media activist Eddie Soprapto knows only too well. Bukan hanya di eksternal kita. Ternyata di organisasi saya, di wartawan pun mengalami sebuah penggerogotan begitu. Artinya organisasi wartawan ya, itu mengalami penggerogotan itu di mana praktek tentang amblok marah. The efforts of international actors to reduce corruption have merely treated the symptoms and not the root causes. The founders of partnership realized that an integrated approach was required. Multi-talented former minister and diplomat and respected anti-corruption activist Irna Witular is one of the founders of the Partnership for Governance Reform in Indonesia. Okay, the initiative to start the partnership was at 1999 when we presented to the CGI forum. We means the Indonesian government at that time. Yeah, the, the big challenge that we had in starting the new government. Erna Witular enjoys close relations with all partnerships multi-stakeholders in government, business, civil society, academia and the international community. To do governance reform, yeah, the base of good governance is a participation of all stakeholders. Yeah. It is not enough anymore for governments only to do development yeah, without strong participation of civil society and the private sector. In order to streamline its activities, Partnership has identified six priority areas. There are four sectoral programs covering electoral parliamentary, legal judicial, police and civil service reform. Cutting across these priority areas are Partnership's anti-corruption and decentralization programs. These programs have received overwhelming support from international donors, who have not only provided vital technical support, but have also backed up their commitment with pledges totaling more than 41 million US dollars. Partnership Executive Director H.S. Dillon never forgets where the real power to transform the system lies when he mingles with the country's elite. Aktivitas kemitraan ini adalah untuk memperbaiki tata pembangunan pemerintahan, governance reform. Selama kita hampir tiga tahun bekerja, kita sudah lihat bahwa yang jadi sentral terhadap Indonesian Renaissance ini adalah governance reform. Karena akibat power governance lah, maka terjadi korupsi dan korban terbesar korupsi adalah rakyat kecil. Jadi tujuan partnership sekarang ini adalah hal-hal yang hakiki menyatukan rakyat kecil ini untuk bersama-sama dengan kekuatannya sendiri memerangi korupsi. The challenge is now to integrate good governance and anti-corruption issues into all programs.
But how do we ensure that the programs are truly effective? Successful programs identify and support well-governed initiatives at every level of society. Kita berterima kasih ketika ta, uh, dua tiga tahun yang lalu kita bekerja sama dengan ini apa uh, mit, kemitraan partnership untuk melakukan kampanye tentang amplop. Ya memang ini sekaligus sebenarnya uh, tujuannya adalah ini kita mau pingin kita nggak bisa sudah uh, korupsi ini sudah menjadi sebuah uh, fenomena yang sangat besar sekali dan susah sekali diatasi. Uh, partnership dalam perannya uh, untuk pembaruan uh, di kejaksaan dan juga termasuk kepolisian dan Mahkamah Agung itu sangat positif. Terbukti dari mulai dari Law Summit 1, Law Summit 2 dan juga nanti persiapan dan dalam persiapan sekarang itu Law Summit 3 sangat positif. Rus Triningsi is one of only six women regions in Indonesia and in cooperation with partnership has set about transforming local government in Kebumen, Central Java. Sangat disayangkan apabila program dari partnership itu hanya berhenti di tengah jalan sementara uh, kaitannya dengan penguatan SDM untuk mengantisipasi uh, dari rentan praktek KKN tersebut masih sangat dibutuhkan. While these and other programs will expand next year, most public attention will be centered on the elections. The historic first direct election of regional representatives and the president and vice president has also been in partnership sites over the past year. Dukungan partnership yang paling berkesan bagi KPU ada dua ya tahun 2002 itu. Pertama evaluasi pemilu 99 dan yang kedua penyusunan grand design sistem informasi pemilu. Partnership has worked with the General Election Commission on campaign and funding regulations. It has also launched education and training programs for the Election Monitoring Committee, or PANWASLU, and the civil society organizations that will monitor the Election Commission and the entire election process. Partnership has also served as the technical support team in the selection of candidates for the new Anti-Corruption Commission. That's why, you know, people now applauded the Thames to establish anti-corruption commission. The civil society especially is all for anti-corruption commission because this is the only hope and this is probably the super body that can do a lot to fight corruption. High hopes are held for the commission with its powers to instigate and take over corruption investigations from the police and AGO, seize assets and access banking information. Only diligence on the part of concerned parties, however, can ensure its success. As such, partnership has enlisted the support of the country's religious organisations to drum up popular support. The Nadlatul Ulama and Muhammadiyah boast a combined membership of 70 million. In their recent Memorandum of Understanding with Partnership, leaders of the two communities agreed to undertake internal reform and formulate an Islamic interpretation of corruption. The Nadlatul Ulama and Muhammadiyah declared the anti-corruption movement in Java and Sumatra and will take it all over the country. Their ulama will take the message to the people through sermons and urge voters to reject candidates tainted by corruption. NU dan Muhammadiyah tidak akan mengambil over tugas polisi. Dia hanya berada pada dimensi gerakan moral. Maka saya tadi sudah memberikan gambaran rentetan kegiatan ini akan kemana. Pertama, NU dan Muhammadiyah dengan seluruh kemampuannya personil yang yang ada struktur dan kultur akan berteriak bersama-sama untuk berkampanye anti korupsi. Komisi 6 juga sepakat dan mendukung upaya-upaya yang lebih konkret dari NU dan Muhammadiyah berupa membangun kesadaran publik. Dari program yang sudah bagus dan terinci ini kami salut. 
hanya masalah dana ini dari mana? Sudah dijelaskan oleh uh, Pak Hashim Muzadi bahwa uh, dana uh, dana itu dibantu uh, oleh partnership, oleh partnership uh, di mana bentuknya itu tidak dalam bentuk misalnya block grant yang diberikan kepada Ibu atau Muhammadiyah, tapi in kind. Kita memfasilitasi mereka bekerja. Dan sekarang didukung oleh agama-agama lain. Kardinal sudah ke sana, pimpinan agama Kristen sudah ke sana, dan agama lain juga sudah menyatakan akan mendukung itu. Jadi gerakan ini harus gerakan emosional. Harus gerakan mau memperbaiki masa depan. Keberhasilan ke depan akan ditentukan oleh teguhnya kemitraan antara kita dengan para donor. The Indonesian people are waiting for their chance. Make your efforts to combat corruption more than just a grand show. Make it work in partnership with the Indonesian people. Stay, stay